Hello, friends. All right, so I'll just wait for a few minutes for everyone to come on and get started. I'll go ahead and fingers all wet now. I'll go ahead and post the links to everything right here. I'll go ahead and pin that there. All right, so we'll wait for everyone to come on and then we'll get started. So I went ahead and I pinned the link to the um, makeup I'm about to use that's on sale. I linked my necklaces. Both of these are from Amy Waltz. You could use the code RayaLove15. I used my lava bead. I linked my lava bead beads from Bombshell Beads and you could use the code Raya20. I linked my really cute little peplum tank top. Raya20 is the code for this guy. And then I linked my Apple Watch Louis Vuitton band. So adorable. And you could use the code Raya10 to save. Yay! Hi guys! Yes, I know, right? Good afternoon. This day is like flying. Friday flying. All right, so we'll go ahead and just jump on in. So today I'm going to be doing full coverage. I'll do a light coverage tutorial for you guys tomorrow um, with the BB cream. So that's my plan. So I wanted to go through all the different foundation options. Um, so I know, message me for my hair growth regimen, you guys. It is lit. My hair is like growing like a weed. I just got it cut too. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Okay, so with the kudos this month, you get to choose any foundation, whether that be the pressed powder, the liquid, the spray, the stick, the BB cream, any choice pretty much. So not pretty much, actually any choice of foundation on our website, which they've never done before. Usually they exclude either the spray or they exclude the powder. This month, they're all a choice, which is so, so cool. Um, my code, yes, oh my gosh, Debbie, please do. My code with them is Raya15. I appreciate you sharing. That's so amazing of you. Um, so I wanted to work through like all of the different uh, foundation options. So whatever you choose, or maybe you choose more than one, you have a tutorial to reference. So I hope that you're sharing my tutorials to your page by clicking the bottom left-hand corner. You click that share button. Top right-hand corner, you'll see those three little dots. If you click those, you can share to your, I'm sorry, you can sign up to be notified. Um, you basically will say, hey, Facebook, tell me when Ray is live. And they hopefully will. Most of the time they do. Um, so make sure you do both those things. Um, so like I said, we did the spray foundation already. We did the stick foundation tutorial already, and now we're going to do the liquid foundation. And then tomorrow I have planned to do the BB cream. So if you are more of a less, less is more kind of gal, you'll really love tomorrow's routine. My hair routine. Oh, like my hair growth routine. I can share with you. Yes. I just washed it though. So I haven't done it today, obviously use purple shampoo clearly <laughs> yay thank you so much Susan oh you're amazing Amy thank you all right guys so we're gonna use the liquid touch foundation like I said today mine is like almost out so hopefully I can get enough out of this bottle all right so the liquid touch foundation is really really good for combination skin and oily skin it is like a true amazing liquid foundation what i love about it as well is it actually has incredible properties inside of it that help to prevent it from um going into your fine lines and your pores and also has an ingredient in it that helps to produce collagen which is going to help your skin look even more radiant which I have never heard of any other liquid foundations having those amazing properties in it. So I love that. I also really love that it's buildable, whether you want to do a light coverage of it or if you want to do a full coverage, both are achievable with the liquid and it's extremely easy to blend. There's a lot of foundations I feel that are full coverage out there that are like molasses when you put them on your face. It's like so hard to blend out. This one is not. It's amazing. So some key things to getting this foundation to be really kind of thicker and more fuller coverage is make sure that you shake the bottle really, really well. Shake that sucker up, squeeze the topper on it. So you're going to squeeze and you're going to shake. So that is really, really going to help it become more um, kind of a thicker consistency because it's a mineral based. So you want to make sure to shake all of that up because it does have a tendency to separate if it's just like sitting there. Yes, it can be good for mature skin. However, I think I would rather do uh, for mature skin. I think I would rather recommend the spray or the stick foundation. 
but this is really really good for just like a, if you love liquid foundation which i love liquid i feel like it's always my go-to just feel comfortable with liquid it's just it's not out of the norm you know what i mean so i love it and the best way to apply it is this guy right here hello from england is this the <clears throat> this is the powder concealer brush so this is amazing because it is flexible but yet dense. It has two sides, so you can use this side for your concealer, your contour, your eyeshadow, so many options, and you get any choice of brush in the Kudos. So you get to choose any foundation, any brush, and then any primer. So I did want to talk about my pre-makeup routine, which is also a huge factor in getting your makeup, especially the Liquid Touch, to look really full coverage and very soft on your skin, which first off, how good is this coverage, you guys? So amazing. So what I do is I use my setting spray, mattifying you're sitting in the parking lot that's amazing mattifying face primer setting spray so setting spray primer setting spray is the routine that you're going to want to do especially if you're wanting it to look fuller coverage i feel like i have a hair okay um doo -doo, never tried spray foundation for mature skin yes the spray is a really really great option for mature skin because it's more of an airbrushed coverage so it's not it's less likely to seep into any fine lines or pores or anything like that Yay, you ordered your kudos, awesome. So like I had mentioned, all of this makeup is available in the kudos. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more of my liquid foundation. We're just gonna dot this around our face. And then now, huge deal alert. The blending buds are what you want, especially if you have fine lines and wrinkles, and especially with the liquid foundation. So this is such an important part in the getting that really soft, flawless, full coverage look. It's gonna make your makeup look so much smoother especially if you have a lot of fine lines wrinkles pore, or large pores it's gonna compress the makeup down in a place so it doesn't look like it's just sitting on your skin so if you ever feel like your makeup's just sitting there definitely get the unique blending buds now when i'm saying get a blending bud i'm not saying like go to ulta and pick up any blending bud these ones are made with a different material they are so amazing they're made for this makeup they really 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 make a huge difference i am first want to tell you if something is not important i'll be like oh get whatever you know get the get a elf brush or whatever but this right here is so important for getting that really soft and full coverage flawless look this makeup makes it easy ashley i swear especially with practice and with tutorials that you can reference so good Oh, nice slippers. Yes, the spray is bomb for sure. All right, so now for concealer, we're gonna use our Skin Perfecting Concealer in the shade Organza. And I'm gonna use about that much of it. And I always, 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 always warm this up between your fingers just like this. No, it does not feel heavy at all. It's another thing that I love about our foundation options. All of them feel so, so incredibly lightweight on your skin. Doesn't feel like you have a mask on, doesn't feel super heavy at all. Thank you, Joyce. Um, okay, so now for concealer, I just pop that in a V just like so. And then now I'm gonna go in with the smaller blending bud and we're gonna blend that out. I love, again, these blending buds because you get two when you buy them, a large and a small, and they're only 17 bucks and they last forever. They usually last me around a year to a year and a half with almost everyday use. And then I wash my makeup brushes, including my blending buds about once a week. And I always use this laundry detergent bar from Walmart. <laughs> It's called Zote, Z-O-T-E. It's like a dollar. You can find it on Amazon, but I think it's a little more expensive on Amazon, like $5. But I use it kind of like a washboard. But I have, um, I actually have tutorials on how to wash your brushes and your blending buds and stuff on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. My name there is Rhea Hope. Bought the full line. Yay, Lee, I'm so excited for you. I bought the rocker tee from Jan and Kate. Oh my gosh, right? That one's so cute. I love that one. Hopefully you use my code so you get a discount. All right, so now that we have our foundation, our concealer, looking how amazing and just soft, dewy, so full coverage, so, so good. Isn't that amazing? Oh my goodness, so beautiful. So now for my contour, I'm gonna use the stick foundation, which is also on sale on the kudos because it's a foundation in, sh in the shade uh, Chenille. You wanna start from the top of the ear, work to the corner of the mouth, and then I'm gonna go like right above the hollow like right there, you're gonna go right above that area, just like that, and just kind of bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. And this is really going to give you that amazing, gorgeous contour. And I love using the stick foundation for this step uh, because if powders accentuate your fine lines, like most 
can. Um, this is a really good option because it's not going to do that because it's a cream. So you're going to just tap, tap, tap. So again, that was the shade Chenille. And then I'm going to take my fat end of the blending bun. And it's super easy. You're just going to bounce. Just bounce this right off your cheek. And it's going to start to blend it out extremely easily. And so gorgeous. It just warms up your complexion. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my word. Okay, so now for the forehead, again, just follow the natural hairline. Bounce, bounce, bounce. This is gonna really make your makeup look like it matches so much better. And it just gives you this really beautiful, like natural sun-kissed glow, just like this. So bounce, bounce, bounce. That's what we're sweating in Florida. How does this makeup hold up? Amazing. I actually was in Florida in August um, of last year and my makeup held incredibly well. Something that really did help me, however, was the setting powder. So highly, highly recommend to grab the setting powder. If you do live somewhere where it's really humid, that is really going to help, especially if you have to wear like a mask or anything, it really protects your makeup. So I'm actually going to show you how to do that right now. So this is the setting powder. So it's called the touch behold setting powder. It's going to be under setting on my website. So it typically comes with a little mesh plate. I popped mine off so I could use it in this technique. So I'm gonna take a dry blending bun and it's flat, which I like. And then I'm gonna take my setting spray and mist it on there. And then now I'm just gonna push it down into the loose powder, just like so, grab it on there. And then I'm gonna use this wherever I get really sweaty, wherever I get really oily, wherever I find that creases or that comes off or looks runny. Um, after our mask, I'm gonna put it all over in that area, just like that. I have a patch of discoloration on my neck. What would be the best to cover that? I would probably say the stick foundation. And then I'm kinda contour around my, or I'm going to set around my contour and then make sure to get my nose. I always get really patchy on my nose from my oil, just like that. <coughs> Loose powder up the mouth. All right, so just like that. Now you can let this sit for however long you're wanting. I usually let it sit just for like a few seconds and then I'm gonna use my fan brush and I'm gonna sweep all of that away. So what this does, it's gonna draw out the natural oils in your skin and it's also gonna help to prevent transferring from the mask or from being on the phone or whatever. It's a really, really great product. So if you do have dry skin, you can still utilize this product. You're just gonna wanna use less of it. All right, so now that we've done that, now we're going to set the rest of our face and really even out our coverage. But before the, I do that, I'm actually gonna go in with my um, contour powder. So this is technically a pressed powder, which is amazing because it's on sale in the kudos. So I'm gonna use this guy first. This is the shade Twill. This is my favorite powder for contouring. I'm gonna use it to set my contour today. However, you can use it by itself to achieve the contour. So always swirl on the cap, always tap off on your wrist um, to even, or to like lessen the powder on there. And then for this part, I'm just going to swirl over this area. Typically, I would really define and swirl, but today I'm just gonna set that area. For my jaw, however, I am gonna use this powder for this, so just around this area. Could you do a tutorial on someone older? Yes, I actually have uh, many times. Ashley and someone else asked, Nina, I have a tutorial on my mom and she's in her late 50s and I do the same exact tutorial that I do on myself on her. She looks so pretty, um, which if you wanna watch that on the replay, I have that saved on my Facebook, my YouTube, my Instagram. You can find it so many different places. So uh, make sure to check that out. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. It's probably the easiest way to find it or my YouTube. Or if you just go to my page, Raya Hope, you can actually search through the live video section or you can search through the post section. You can even ha utilize the little search bar on there and type in mom and it will pop up. I've actually done one on my mother-in-law too. So I have done many but I can do again soon. Thank you so much for sharing. All right, so for your nose, this is a really important part. So if you're contouring your nose, it can be a little bit intimidating, I guess, because it's so small. Make sure you really tap off that brush. Blow really well, so not, not a lot of powders on there. Then squeeze the brush, and then you're just gonna slide this down the sides of your nose. This is gonna thin out the nose very naturally, go up along the bottom. So if you have a wider nose, thins it out. If you have the bottom of the nose, you can thin that or you can shorten that. You can contour underneath your lip to make it look more poutier. Tons of options with that. I have the stick foundation lace. What shade would I be in the concealer? Organza for you, Kathy. 
choose products that would be best for me. Yes, message me and I would be so happy to help you. How can I apply to California and do your makeup? That's amazing. Now that my eye is better, yay! I'm so glad it is, mom. Um, I'm kind of new at watching you, but I'm loving everything you're saying. My biggest issue right now is my makeup transferring to my mask and it's so annoying. I sweat a lot on my face side effects from medication. Yes, please mes message me. But for you, I would recommend the spray foundation and I would also recommend the, um, the setting powder. That's both of those are really, really going to help with that. Do you do eyeshadow tutorials? Yes, I do. I'm actually going to do one today. So keep watching. Happy Friday. All right, so now to set the rest of my skin and make it look super, super soft, also prevent transferring, I'm gonna use my uh, pressed powder, and this is in the shade Taffeta. This actually just restocked the other day, um, but the shade similar to this is the shade uh, Poplin. And I'm gonna use this all over. This is gonna give me that gorgeous, really, really soft and pretty airbrushed look. So although you may think, oh, I have dry skin or I'm this age, I can't use pressed powders. They make, they accentuate my fine lines. That may be true with some pressed powders, but not this one. Our pressed powders are so incredibly silky soft. You get the most gorgeous airbrushed finish look with these. It's more similar to like a, like a finishing powder rather than a pressed powder, which pressed powders can be a little bit thicker, a little bit more drying, um, provide a little bit more coverage. Finishing powders, however, are a little bit more silky, a little bit more hydrating, um, give less coverage. So ours is like a hybrid of the two, which is literally perfect, especially for mature skin or fine lines. Let's do my final spritz tea. Yay! Oh, I'm so glad you got that one. All right, so now for blush. We don't want to look washed out. We really want to accentuate our cheek structure. So I'm going to use my pressed blush in the shade Sisterly on a blusher brush. Like I had mentioned, I always tell you guys if it doesn't matter for a brush, for a product, Blush brush, doesn't really matter. You can find one cheap on Amazon or whatever. I really like the e.l.f. blusher brushes. Um, those ones are good ones. I mean, you will have to replace them probably once a year because they're a little bit cheaper, but they're also really inexpensive. But like I said, I always tell you guys what's important to invest in and what's not. Blusher brush, not so much. Blending buds, absolutely. freaking lootly. Make sure you grab the ones from Unique. So, so important. Aw, thank you. You're so sweet. Bought the eyelet and the stick and I think it's a little too light. What's a darker color? Sherry, I would actually save the eyelet and then I would go up in a shade in your pressed powder, maybe to the shade Jacquard or maybe even to the shade uh, Tweed or yeah, Tweed. And um, cause it's gonna be winter soon. So I would maybe save that one and then just upgrade up, go up in a shade in your pressed powder. That's what I'm trying to say. That way you can put on that and it will maybe look a little light, but then you'll put on your pressed powder and it'll even it out. That's what I do. You can, however, go up in a shade to the shade satin if you're wanting. All right, so now for highlight, I'm gonna do the Touch of the Mode Luminizer in the shade Pearly. This one is my favorite highlight. You get this really gorgeous, pretty, like glowy finish, dewy look, and it's like a rose gold color. It's so, so pretty. So you're gonna pop that on the highest parts of your cheekbones, bridge and tip of the nose. You can also do Cupid's bow. You can also highlight underneath your brow bone. Sky's the limit with highlight, you can't overdo it. Just gonna look so glowy. All right, so now for brows. I ordered the duo, I ordered the duo foundation powder today and ordered the wrong color, oh no. Um, you can actually just return it and then reorder. Our return policy is very easy. I started doing my nails. Oh, nice, awesome, Kristen. All right, so for brows, I always brush any foundation that may be in there out. And then I'm gonna take my brow pencil in the shade medium. I cannot stress how amazing this brow pencil is. It makes doing your brows so, so incredibly easy. So I always follow the tear duct straight up, draw a little line there and then connect it to the arch, just like that. Once I get to the arch, I'll do the same thing underneath. Take it to the arch from the bottom corner and then I'll fill through the tail. Now, if your eyebrows are a little bit shorter, you always want them to kind of go past your eye. They'll elongate and kind of make your face uh, shape a little bit more flattering. So always kind of fling through like that. And then now what you want to do is you just color in. So you essentially just outline and color in. That's it. To get to the arch, take it down. Voila, so easy. Oh, I'm so glad. What about long nose? So you can uh, contour underneath, which will make it look a little bit shorter. 
Patricia, uh, tweed will be your finishing powder. If you're asking for a contour powder, you'll use the shade Twill. All right, so same thing on this side. Follow the tear duct straight up to mark your little line and then you go from the top corner to the arch, bottom corner to the arch, and then take it through the tail past the eye. And then I always kind of go over it a few times just to make sure it looks exactly like I want before I start to fill in. And then color in. Just like that. Okay, so if you do go too dark or too large or too whatever, you can always take the spoolie side and then kind of comb through. It'll soften up the color just like that. All right, I'm actually gonna use a brow gel. It's by Anastasia. It's a clear brow gel. Just hold your brows in place. You can message me for the link to that. Got makeup, blush, brow pencil, liquid eyeshadow, and easy to put on. Oh, I'm so glad. Are Twill and Tweed close in color? No, they're not. Twill will be uh, like three shades darker than Tweed. I know, it's so confusing because they sound the same. <laughs> tweed Twill. All right, so now for eyes, I'm gonna do my eyeliner in the shade Perfect, which I always rave about this eyeliner. Actually stays where you put it. It's only $15 and it's creamy. So I'm gonna pop this all over the waterline. Just like so. All right. If anyone has any other questions, holler them out. And then if you guys need to be color matched for any products, any foundation or anything, just please comment color match in the comments and we will message you and get you all set up. All right, so now for eyes. Crazy. Ready to hear this? I thought the Addiction Palette 6 would retire, be gone forever last month. I have really, really good news. If you did not get it last month, it is still available until supplies last for its regular price. So with the kudos last month, you got um, the any palette, any mascara, any eyeliner, any brush, but you had to pay the kudos price. And a lot of you guys just wanted the palette. So I know some of you guys passed on the kudos because you're like, I am good on mascara. This is still available under eyeshadows. The Addiction Palette 6. The Addiction Palette 6 is so stunning. It has like every color you would want in a palette. It has the golds, the browns, the pinks, the maroons, the lights, the, every color you would want is in one palette. It is so amazing. You can get nighttime looks, daytime looks, so, so easy. It's like having every color in one spot. So we're gonna take this color right here, which is Enthralled. It's one of my favorite colors for eyeshadow, or for a crease color it goes with everything it's just a very light kind of caramely brown very similar to if you guys remember the shade gingerly it reminds me of that so i'm going to take my fluffy crease brush and we're just going to swirl the outside corner and then take it through the crease just like this and it's going to begin to give us some warmth how do you color match on spray foundation for my color matching all i need is a selfie facing a window with no filter um, you can be wearing makeup, however, my color match will be the most accurate if you don't have any makeup on and you're facing a, uh, a north, what, never, what is it, never eat shredded wheat, so northwest window. <laughs> Basically, you want the sun to be going up and over you like this, not in front of you or behind you. That will give you the most natural light possible. So like when we were buying our house, my realtor thought we were crazy because I was like, I need an office with the window facing this direction. And they were like, why? <laughs> like, because that's the best for my videos. <laughs> but for real, that's like the direction I face. Um, so for the most accurate, but like I said, I have been doing this for five years. So not to toot my own horn, but I can color match pretty much any way, shape or form. So if you, uh, if you only have a photo of you with makeup on or it's cloudy out, it doesn't matter if it's raining or whatever, send me a selfie facing a window and I can color match you. For foundation colors, does it go to left to right for lighter to darker? Yes and no. 
So yes, technically. However, for example, the shade Organza and the shade Lace, the shade Organza is definitely lighter than the shade Lace. However, on the website, it's listed the other way. So I highly recommend to message me a selfie facing window before you purchase so I can help you. We do, however, have a love it guarantee. Um, so for any reason, if you need to exchange or return, you can. All right, so now I'm going to take the shade Ostentatious, which is just like a darker chocolater, chocolater tier brown color on the same brush, fluffy crease brush. Again, one of the brushes to really invest in this guy right here. And it's pretty inexpensive for how long it lasts and how much I use it. I actually have a few of them because I'm obsessed with this brush. So this brush is amazing because it's the perfect amount of fluff. It's a perfect amount of tapered. Goldilocks would be obsessed, <laughs> but it does the best job, especially if you have smaller or hooded eyes. So I'm just going to use that in the outer corner, just so, as you see, just to create a little bit more depth in the outside corner. When using stick foundation for contour, do you use the setting powder before applying the contour after? I like to do it after. I like to do all my powders after I'm done with all my liquids and creams. That's just my own personal preference. You can try it both ways and see which way you prefer, but I always do it afterwards. All right, so same thing for this outside corner. I always kind of try to think of a Pac-Man mouth. So you're going to go to the edge of the eyebrow and then same thing up here, but go upward and then swirl. So you really just kind of want to focus that color just in the corner, just like this. And you can always blend it out and fix it if you need to. Now I'm going to switch my brushes and I'm going to grab the liner shader brush and go in with that same color again, Ostentatious from Addiction Palette 6, which if you're just tuning in, is still available. I cannot believe it. I'm so stoked. And I'm going to underline my eyelid with, or my lash line with this, just to give it more of that like really smoky look. Same thing on this side. But this is my favorite brush for doing this stuff because it's dense and it's angled. So you... It does all the work for you. You don't have to be worried about it falling out or getting all crazy or whatever. Okay. I have organza with red undertones. Can lace work better? If organza doesn't look like it's matching well enough, then yes, uh, lace would be your next option. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my highlight. This is the cream to powder highlight. It's called the Touch of the Mode Luminizer. Cream to powder in the shade Iridescent. I'm going to take this on my finger and I'm just going to press this on the inner corner of my eye, almost kind of like on my nose, but right in the section. And this is going to really illuminate our eye look. Give it that little pop, which is so, so pretty. Just like that. All right. You'd think I'd be done, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, I've been following your tips and I've never been happier with my makeup. Oh, I love that. How do you prevent fallout from the 4D? Uh, make sure to swirl when you're coming out would help. All right. So for the star of the show, we're going to use the liquid eyeshadow in the shade ornate. All of the liquid eyeshadows are back in stock. Praise the Lord. They are the best option when it comes to fine lines, wrinkles, or if you just have a hard time getting your eyeshadow to pop or stay into place. So if you have really oily eyelids, again, amazing product for this. So you're going to, or amazing product for all of those things. So you're going to take it on and just pop it all over the lid. And then you're going to take your cream brush and you're just going to kind of smudge at it and pat. So it's going to uh, kind of smooth it out, separate it, and then just make it look really, really soft. But I say that this eyeshadow is the best if you have oily eyelids, fine lines, wrinkles, or have a hard time, because it's smudge proof, you guys. It's smudge proof, it's crease proof, it stays right in place all day long. It's so good. Ah, uh, thank you. Um, the cleanser will be back in stock October 1st. It did restock, however, um, all of that stock went to the subscription holders because they had been waiting the longest, so. Um, October 1st, but if you want to be alerted, it may be uh, restocked sooner, which if you want to make sure that you are alerted for that, text me, text my subscription service, which it's me. It's just me. It's not a bot. It's not anybody. I send out all the personal texts and I send out the texts only when something restocks or when um, a new product launches. So you're not going to get a, uh, too many messages. And it's not a group message, like I said, it's just for me. And to sign up for that, you have to be in the U.S. I'm sorry, I wish they, it worked other places. 
And all you have to do is text Raya Hope, R A Y A, to the phone number 25456. So if you text Raya Hope to 25456, you'll be alerted for any restocks. And then for bronzers, I have been using and loving and being obsessed with the pressed powder in the shade Twill. Honestly, it blends out easier than a pressed powder. It's matte and it's so, so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's on sale on the kudos because it's a powder. It's a foundation. All right, so now that our eyes are pretty much done, I always want to make sure that it looks really soft and really blended. So I'm going to go in with my blending bun, or I'm sorry, my blending brush. And I'm just going to swirl on this out, this outer edge, and I'll just kind of soften it up. Because we always want our eye looks to look really like melted. Another good tip or trick on eyeshadow, if you have any fallout or it went too far down, take your blending bud when you're done and just very intentionally bounce this off your under eye. It will pick up any eyeshadow that may have fallen and it will kind of uh, dilute that little area. Kind of hide it, just like that. All right, so now it's time to set our makeup with our setting spray. Oh my gosh, I swear by setting your makeup, it not only makes it look softer, more flawless, like it matches better, it puts a little bit of moisture into your foundations, which helps them to expand, which helps it to look more natural, but it also really helps it prevent it from transferring if you had to wear a mask or you hug someone or whatever. This is also amazing to use before and after your primer to set your skin and to set your primer. It makes your makeup look incredible. Must have product. So again, that was called the Touch Behold Setting Spray. Um, Martha, you probably are just using too much. One, I would make sure to use the tapered blusher brush, key tapered blusher brush, again, very important. And I would make sure to swirl in the mirror and tap off on your wrist before going in with it. Also make sure you're not pushing too hard. Very light hand. I'm wearing the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Ornate on my eyes. All right, so now I'm gonna use my eyeliner, liquid liner in the shade Perfect. This is the dip and draw liner. Every time I use this, I tell you guys, if you suck at eye uh, liquid liner, you will be good at this one. It makes it so easy. The tip on this guy is like a dagger. It's so precise and it makes it so incredibly easy to get that liquid on there and look really flawless. Look at that. It makes it so simple. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit more, darken this up. And I love to use this just above the lash line. It's Friday, so I thought I'd go all out. Where'd you get your watch band? I actually pinned it, Betsy, in the uh, caption and in the description. But if you can't find it, uh, message me and I'd be so happy to help give it to you. The link that is. And you could use the code REA10 to save. And if I can talk while doing liquid liner, I know you guys can do this. <laughs> All right, so dip and draw liquid liner is on. And that was in the shade Perfect. Okay, so now that our eyes are done, now it's time for a mascara. So like I said, I figured I'd go all out because it's Friday. So the first thing that I'm going to go in with is the lash primer. So like I said, it's crime not to prime. That definitely goes for the eyelashes. So we're going to go in first with the lash primer. This not only gives you amazing length, but it also really hydrates your lashes, which helps them to become stronger, which helps them to last longer. It's a very important step. Thank you. Have you always been good at makeup? Oh my gosh, no. Um, when I use any foundation other than powder, I can get, I get a cakey look. I use the matte primer. Should I go hydrating? I'd maybe try the hydrating and then I'd also make sure that you're exfoliating once a week. We have the exfoliating face mask, which would be amazing for you. Love your videos. Yes. For the code for Amy Waltz designs, my link or my code is Raya love 15. What's the grade of your kids? Um, first grade and TK. No, I already did setting spray. 
Same problem. She started the hydrating primer. It does make a difference. Yes. Awesome. Good job. And then um, to answer, someone asked if I'd always been good at makeup. Heck to the no. I was actually a gigantic tomboy growing up. And I was in my late 20s before I even knew what contouring was. <laughs> So that's kind of the reason that I'm so passionate about this brand because I was actually able to learn with it and it just made learning how to do my makeup so easy, especially when I could rely on these little makeup tutorials from the presenters like myself um, before I was a presenter and that really, really helped me and then I really liked being able to like ask questions and get direct answers with makeup application makeup troubles or whatever because like if you go to Ulta or Sephora like those girls are not gonna like you can't call them and be like hey I got this highlight but I can't remember how to use it they're gonna be like who are you <laughs> but with me I am like I am committed to making you guys look and feel your absolute best and if that means we need to send 50 messages to one another in order for that, I'm here. So you can shop without worrying that I'm going to sell you on something and you're going to get it in the mail and then have no idea how to use it or no idea how to master it. I am here to help you guys. This is my full time job. So utilize me, reach out to me, message me here on Facebook and I'd be so, so happy to help you guys. You're going to definitely want to make sure you shop on my website, however, to access my help. And that is rayahopebeauty.com. All right, so right now I'm using my Twisted Mascara. It is incredible. It's hands down my most favorite mascara I've ever used. It has biotin, argyne oil, and curatine in it. So it's actually helping your lashes to grow. But look at that length and volume, you guys. Is that not amazing? So, so good. I believe it's $24. It lasts for around four to six months with everyday use, depend or depending on use. Um, and then now I'm going to actually top it with my 4D just for a little extra drama because like I said, it's Friday. Oh my word. They literally look like I'm wearing fake eyelashes. I love it. Thank you, Nancy. I didn't see from the beginning what color foundation concealer you're wearing. I'm wearing the Lace in the liquid and the shade Organza in the concealer. I've always got mascara on purple too, but I always feel clumpy. I would definitely grab the Twisted Mascara Avon. You'll love it. I have any issues with... Mm, I have to wear a mask 12 hours in the ER. My face is suffering. Oh, poor thing. Um... I would definitely get the brightening face mask. That's going to be really, really great for your skin. It's going to pull out all that junk that may be trapped under that mask, um, like underneath into your pores. So I would really invest in your skincare for the meantime. I think that's really, really going to help. Uh, working and watching. Oh, nice. I thought it was Ole Exfoli at the time. Yes, I got to go now. Okay, great. Bye, Sherry. Had the same problem. Sorry. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, thank you. All right, so now for lips. First off, I'm gonna use the lip liner in the shade Prudent. And we're gonna line our lips with this. I always rave about this color, it's my favorite. Gives you the prettiest matte, hydrating, creamy, it's only $15. So good. Sorry, someone tried to call me. Okay, so we're gonna line our lips with this and then I'm gonna fill in. But I love these lip liners, you guys. They're so gorgeous. And like I said, they're smudge proof. So they're perfect if you have to wear a mask, but you wanted to wear lipstick because you can still get a really pretty outcome without having to worry about that it's coming on off on your mask. So now I'm gonna take my a lipstick, message me for the link to this that I give it to you. And Apply this all over. Just like a good nude. Just like that. And we're done. Oh, uh, thank you. Of course, I always get too late. You can watch it on the replay. Hello. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for tagging your friends. That means so, so much to me. Try the color prudent, but the color is way too light for me. You can actually darken it up using um, either like a lipstick on top or you can mix it with another uh, lip liner. The shade Posh would be really pretty too. 
uh, like you did from the sun, but my top up. Oh, poor thing. Uplift Beauty Oil, like, saved me during all of that. So, Deborah, Uplift Beauty Oil, put it on every single night. Also, um, Neosporin. That really helped, too. Yay! Awesome. Thanks for being here, Allison. All right, so that was the whole makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please reach out to me here on Facebook if you guys need to be color matched or if you need any help or any questions. Please shop right here. Pin in the comments is my website for the makeup, the skincare, the tools, and then everything I'm wearing. Um, and then if you guys need any help, like I said, please reach out to me. And if you are typing in my website on your web browser, it is rayahopebeauty.com. R-A-Y-A-H-O-P-E beauty.com. RayaHopeBeauty.com. So make sure you save that website, shop from there anytime you need any makeup, skincare, restocks, or anything. Please share my website with any of your family and friends. I cannot stress how much I appreciate you guys sharing about my page, sharing about the makeup, um, sharing about me. So thank you. And then I will see you guys over on Instagram for the rest of the day. I, of course, have a really fun um, try-on for a little fashion try-on for you guys. Um, over on Instagram. So make sure you follow me there. My name on Instagram is Rhea Hope. I'm also doing a really fun giveaway on Instagram where I'm going to send a big old goodie basket to one of you lucky ladies. You can only enter on Instagram, um, but all you have to do is either share my stories or screenshot and tag me in your stories. So, so, so easy. And again, you have to do it on Instagram, which my name there is Rhea Hope. Bonnie, I think I answered you from yesterday, but please send me a message today and I'll make sure to get back to you. Okay, guys, I love you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a fun and safe Friday. Bye.